today we're pouring the NAV1 deck, which is one in a series of milestones getting the, this section of the bridge ready to install over the railway in October. We've been planning this pour for several months now. The, the actual concrete pour is the last step in a long chain of events. So we've got to install the formwork, we've got to install all the reinforcement. Placing of the concrete is the last, the last process. So the concrete is batched at the batching plant and then arrives to us on site. It's pumped up onto the NAV1 deck through the concrete pump. And then as you can see, the guys are working in bays. So when they finish pouring one bay, the finish is coming behind and float it off so that it meets the standard set by the client in the specification. It's not the biggest port on the project, um, but it's one of the most important because it's, it's on, the, on the lead in to placing the bridge and there's some other operations we've got to do between now and October, so it's very important that we get this port done today. NAV1 is due to sit on the north abutment heading across a railway section onto Pier 7. So the next step in the process will be to install the parapet sections. They'll get lifted by crane, stood up in a vertical position and laid along the length of both sides of the beams. They will then be stitched in with a small concrete pour on either side of the bridge deck. This is such an exciting project to work on. Uh, it's not often you get to work on a civil engineering project this size, especially with it being my first project. Um, there's only one other bicycle bridge like this in the world, which is over in New Zealand. So to have something of the same calibre in my local town of Lowestoft really brought me to the project.